In computer systems, we occasionally come across the terms NGNS or Little Engine and Big Engine. In this two-part video, we will discuss about byte ordering and NGNS, the associated problems and their solutions. Part 1 focuses more on the byte ordering problem, while Part 2 focuses on their solutions. In computing, a group of 8 bits is termed as a byte. The data stored in computer memory is always byte addressable. When storing any multibyte data in memory, there are two ways in how we store and interpret them, little engine and big engine. Both these methods only differ in the way the bytes are ordered. Consider this decimal number 30541989896, which can be written as 00010010010. Zero one zero one zero one one zero zero one 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 zero 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 in binary or one two three four five six seven eight in hexadecimal notation. And there are two ways we can save this number in memory. Yeah, I guess left to right the way we read or right to left. The first approach is called big engine and the second approach is called little engine. So on a big engine system this number would look like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 while on a little engine system it would look like 7, 8, 5, 6, 3, 4, 1, 2. On some systems the lower address contains the LSB or least significant byte of the work while on the others the higher address contains the LSB of the work. As shown in here, when the lower address contains the LSB it is called a big engine system. While in the other case when the higher address contains the LSB it forms a little engine system. In other words, the big engine refers to ending on the higher address or more significant byte is on the higher address. Similarly, the name little engine refers to ending on the lower address, that is the most significant byte is on the lower address. The next question that comes to mind is, what is it that decides if a system is little engine or big engine? Well, it is a CPU architecture that governs if a system is going to be little engine or big engine. For example, Motorola 68K was a big engine system, while Intel x86 has been a little engine system. That is why sometimes these are also referred to as Motorola and Intel formats respectively. In addition, there are other architectures which provide the flexibility of selection of engineness and are often referred to as bi engine. Architectures like PPC, MAPS, ARM, provide this feature based on some register setting or applying appropriate voltage to the corresponding pin one can select the engineness in these architectures in most cases soc or microprocessor manufacturer or the pcb designer already has this configuration hardwired you should refer to the manufacturer's data sheet and board schematics to confirm the engineness of the processor now, which is better little engine or big engine there has been a long debate on which system is better with both sides championing their cause. However, technically both have similar performance and should not be any major concern during the selection of the components. So, why is there so much fuss about engineness? Let's imagine two people trying to communicate with each other in two different languages. Is the impact. Engineness is like languages. There would be trouble when two computer systems try to communicate in two different languages. The issue are seen when two CPUs of different architectures try to communicate with each other as in embedded systems. Similarly, a network may contain computers with different engineers trying to communicate. 
In such cases, the getter read by recipient would be inverse of the getter being sent by the sender. Engineness issues are seen only with multibyte data like works, half works, double works, that is ink, short, long, float, double, while the byte streams like strings and characters remain unaffected by engineness. So how do we overcome these issues? We will cover that in part 2 of this video series.